Little boy, where are you? Little boy, you don't need to hide from me. I'm just gonna help you, okay? Sketch, no, I have to hide. There. Jeez, this place looks creepy, but I don't really have any other choice. I can't let that officer catch up to me. I'll just have to go in there. I know you're here somewhere, kid. Just where can you be? No way. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I'm not going in there. There's no way that kid could get in here. It's... It's a death trap. No, no, everyone in Hurricane knows about Freddy Fazbear's. It's a death trap. He must have gone somewhere else. Freddy's is out of the question. He couldn't have gone in here. I'll have to go look somewhere else. I hope this kid is okay. You here? I haven't seen your face around here before. Uh, yeah, I just got finished traveling. Really? Well, I'm sure you have some interesting stories to tell the others back there. They would get a kick out of you. What makes you say that? You look like the kind of guy who's been through some tough escapades. Try this. It's my little gift to you as a newcomer. Hey, not bad. Glad you liked it. Hey there, fella. What could I get you? I'll just have some water, please. What the hell? What's up? Well, it's just odd to see a knight sitting next to me. What do you do, work for King Arthur? <laughs> You're funny. I'm a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter, you say? Must I repeat myself? Not at all, not at all. Did you come here for a specific reason? No, I just arrived. I came for a drink. Ah, I see. In that case, I'm in need of a bit of assistance. Well, what is it that you're doing? You're looking for gold or something? No, there's a child on the loose. I need him to be brought back to me. Well, I suppose I can help you. 
I've done this kind of job before, so it should be a walk in the park. Excellent. Is it okay if you come with me, please? Uh, you're not gonna try anything funny on me, are you? No, not at all. Good, because I'm armed. Here, and keep the change. Say, I don't think we've exchanged our names yet. My name is Michael. Yours? My name is Ares Tauranos. I take it that your parents must be very fond of Greek mythology, eh? I suppose you could say that. Anyways, come with me. I would like you to meet my bail bondsman. His name is Roger. He will be helping me discuss our little business. Hmm. Whatever you say. Hello, Roger. I believe I have found someone that is capable enough for helping us on our little search party. You have got to be kidding me right now. You're gonna have to suck it up. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Schmidt, who is this man? This is Ares. I met him at the bar today. He told me he was a bounty hunter. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Ares. My name is Roger, and this is... We already know each other. Eh, uh, <laughs> I see. Wait, you two know each other? Sadly. When you said you were going to have me partner up with someone, I didn't want it to have to be with my arch nemesis. Mr. Schmidt, I think you should find someone else to help us. No, it's been very hard to find someone who will help me lately. I believe they can get their differences resolved on their own. <sighs> As you wish, Mr. Schmidt. Anyways, now that I'm here, what's in it for us when we find this child? We? There is no we, that is just me. Hey, enough, both of you. This is the money that Roger and I plan to give to you if you help us find this young boy. Huh, that's actually not a bad amount. I'll take it. You do realize that you two will have to split the bounty, right? What? I'm not sharing with him. What are you, five? Grow up. Shut up, Ares. You took everything from me. You killed my master, you broke the plant buster, and all in all, you gave me a really hard time when I tried to confront you. You'll get yours before you know it. Sorry, she's just got a couple of screws loose in her head right now. I can tell. Are you two going to stop arguing or what? <sighs> Alright, listen Della, I know that you and I aren't buddy-buddy with each other, but do you think that we could at the very least just put our differences aside so that we can just get this task done? You and I will both get our share, and everyone will be happy in the end. I will not! Listen to Ares! Yes, indeed. You two should handle your differences on your own terms. Anywho, this is your target. Where was he last seen? According to an officer that we met yesterday, he last saw him by Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. Mega Pizza Plex? Who is this Freddy Fazbear that you speak of? He's the fictional mascot for a company called Fazbear Entertainment. I used to work there myself. However, I have since moved on, and things have changed drastically. Yeah. Michael has told me some pretty interesting rumors about that place. Something about missing children, uh, and bloodstains on animatronics, or something like that. Creepy. Ah, uh, that's just bullcrap. Don't believe it. What? Nothing. Furthermore, I believe that our meeting here can be concluded. You two can go to the Mega Pizza Plex, and if you come back with that child, then you can split the money that we offered. Sounds like a deal to me. I guess. If you don't want to go, then you don't get the money, Barbie. Barbie? Uh, yeah. You look like a Barbie in D&D &D gear. Alright.
right, go on. Get out of here. Roger and I need to talk in private. Listen up, Ares. Even though we're working together, you better not get in the way of things. Della, I really think we should just put our differences aside and work together like we're supposed to. Fine. But I'm only doing it for the money. Jeez, you really are desperate. Well, don't blame me. It's hard to do anything and get good pay from it. This kid will be a piece of cake. He won't stand a chance against my magic. You do know that we have to bring him in alive, right? Yes, yes, Mr. Sirius. I was only joking. Besides, when did you start caring about when people were brought in alive? You killed a lot of people on your journeys. It's called self-defense. Whatever. Let's just start to get going. Hey Siri, search Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. Ugh, are you kidding me? No service? Aries, do you have a phone? I have a Nokia. Hey, Vanessa, are you still up for getting coffee later today? Oh, uh, I can't, Lewis. I'm gonna be working night shift tonight, remember? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's okay. You guys can always go out another day. Right, Vanessa? Mm-hmm. So, Adriana, what's up with the rainbow hair? Well, I had some inspiration. Yep, those were the days. Honestly, I feel like I have a new life with my blonde hair. Really? Do you believe in reincarnation? No, I just feel more... powerful. Also, because I just like the look better. Well, that's being the security guard for you. You get to tell people what to do. Yep, that's the life. Who knew that it was this easy to get the position? Well, I have heard that there's been some drama going around with the guards here. I heard Fazbear and Tannen's gonna be building their own security box now. Well, break's over guys. We better get back to work now. It was nice seeing you guys today. I hope we could plan another day where we could get together, Vanessa. Whatever works for you. Yeah. Sure, Lewis. See you later, Vanessa. Yeah, until next time. <sighs> this job really has taken a toll on me right now. Huh? Hey, Vanessa, Merck needs you down by his office right now. <sighs> All right, I'll be down there soon. Hmm, Vanessa should be here soon. I hope she doesn't take too long. Ah, come in. Come take a seat, Vanessa. Is everything okay, sir? Well, yes and no. I just got a call from a bail bondsman stating that there's going to be two bounty hunters arriving to this establishment today. Wait, what are you talking about? I know, right? Something about a lost child. An officer was close to apprehending him not too long ago, but he lost him. He claims that he was last seen around this area. <sighs> Great, just what we need. Another investigation, and it's for something that might not even be here. Just be glad that it isn't our fault. Catch my drift? I guess you're right. It'll be okay, Vanessa. They'll just search the building here and then leave. If they find the child, great. If they don't, then also great. So, we're not going to get into trouble? Trust me, Vanessa. Even if we do, we'll make our way around it. Why did you decide to speak to me about this? Oh. 
Well, it's a little plan to get on the good side of things. I was thinking that you could show those bounty hunters around the place. What? But I'm already working the night shift. I mean... Asking me to help two people around this gigantic mall and then go around again for six hours is a bit much for me. Listen, Vanessa, I know it's a bit much, but if you do this, then I will give you a raise. Now, I hate to intrude on your personal life, but from one of our therapists, I was told that you have a little trouble paying the bills. Is that right? Yes, it is. Well, consider this a generous donation, Vanessa. Just do a little more work and you'll get a little more money. Besides, this tour might not even take too long. I... I guess I'll do it. Ah, no girl. I don't know when those bounty hunters are going to arrive here, so keep a good lookout for them, okay? Good. You may be excused. Ugh. This road is so disgusting. I better not get any dirt on my clothes. Don't jinx yourself. I don't jinx myself. Uh-huh. Sure you don't. At this rate, we'll never get to that mega pizza plex. We need help. No, we don't. Are you kidding me? We've been walking for so long, and we still haven't found the place yet. I'm getting tired. Calm down. It's over there. See, I told you we would find it. When are those bounty hunters going to arrive? I'm tired of waiting out here. It's so hot. I just want to go back inside. Excuse me, do you work here? Ah, who are you guys? My name is Della, and I'm looking for a missing child who was last spotted around here. I'm also here, you know. Shut up, Ares. Just let me do the talking. How the hell are you two even allowed to walk around in those outfits? You mean, how is Della allowed to walk around in that outfit? Don't you dare single me out on this one, Ares. You look like a freak, too. Shut up! I think you two are lying so that you can get money for looking for a child who might not even be here. Here, ma'am, this is my warrant. It allows me to do my investigations as well as carry around my weapons. Well, it's not like you'll need weapons to protect yourself from a place like this. It has tight security, and you just might set off the alarms. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. After all, I did hear that there were a bunch of mysterious disappearings at the previous locations, I guess. I thought you said that those were just rumors. Do not interrupt me when I am talking. I'm just saying. Alright, fine. I'll let you two win. I was told to give you a tour so that you wouldn't get lost. I've been waiting quite the amount of time for you. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Whoa, this place is big. I know, it's kind of impressive on how much work was put into this place. Is that real gold? No, sadly. It looks like it was though, huh? I know, this place looks fun. You know, we have a child to find. We can't just stand here and look at everything. Oh, come on, Ares. Why do you have to be such a buzzkill? Have you had any fun? 
I said plenty when you weren't around. Don't mind him. He's just being a sourpuss. Oh, it's quite all right. I'm a security guard. If he acts up, then I'll put him in his place. Yo, God of War, get over here so I can show you around. No thank you, I can do just fine on my own. Look man, you're only making this harder for yourself. If you don't want to get lost, then I suggest that you follow me. I've traveled through the sunken ruins of an abandoned kingdom before. I'll be fine. Okay, good luck. But if you get lost, don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm, <laughs> whatever. Jeez, this place just keeps getting bigger every time I make a move. Hello? Uh, um, uh, uh. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. 